getting ready to make first time trial at Little River, the bench of drags, October 12, 2024. Might be making a time trial against a supercharged flathead little roadster 32. I wonder uh, how fast that is. We're waiting on track cleanup, so yep, cool down. a crap run it spun i lifted i let off and then i thought i was in second but it must have still auto shifted into second before i thought i was in second because i put it in neutral on the finish line so hey but i beat that uh supercharged v8 flathead roadster though that was a crap 80 pass second time trial i rechained the engine because it moved and was in low two when I thought it was low one and I went to neutral instead of third. The last run was a mess.
my first run I ran an 8 with a cluster F spinning letting off and hitting neutral no first gear but I had an 03 reaction this time I slightly red lit 007 red light launched hard 161 but it was still in second gear and then just went to the third so it's it I'm not even getting first gear that sure is cool now that is a fine automobile a 40 Magnum all 375 horse for a driver's meeting at one o'clock so I'm only getting to use second and third gear on the track just riding it on the converter so that linkage is still shifting into second coming out of the hole launching in first and shifting to second probably within a hundred feet 760 at 90 pretty much be my dial lunchtime school fuel alter a nitro car I would imagine come on all right here we go Hundred and thirty nine miles an hour, five forty one. Nice. Real nice. First round, I had a negative 07 reaction time with a strong 16060 foot and broke out. Also, I just stayed in it, used it as a time trial. 760 and a 762 dial, but I was already red lit. But $10 buyback, I could get back in and start over in second round. So that's what I did. That's the one that ran. Six 
one now. That's pretty awesome looking. Haven't seen that till today. Well, it was sketchy. 460 he had to lift because it was going crazy. This is going to be second round because I did a first round buyback. Street class eight nine second cars. The guy you're talking to is it by you? He, does he race that station wagon? Yeah, that's it right there. Is it? It runs nines. He had a nine sixty dial in. He was in a comp, but he must have dialed an 8.0 to run him. They fucked on the belly, Because it ran six seconds, and now he's running in a... Yeah, he's running 8.0 on a six-second truck. That's just dirty. That's just dirty, man. Why did he do that? Because he just... Because he can. He's just sandbagging. So he can just stay a bumper in front of the other guy. We got a 63 Impala that's slower than the Catalina by a whole second. Just letting you know, the Pontiac's better than an Impala every day of the week. Just saying it out loud. I like the truck. Now I like the Impala too. It's nice. But I don't want one. I got a Pontiac. I like it. Alright buddies, let's light those bulbs up. All right, here we go. Come on. Yeah. So, yeah, so got an eight fifty dial in to an eight twenty on the fifty seven pickup. 850 gasser to 820 pit 7 truck. Pretty close, ain't it? Yeah. The truck will get a two tenths head start. The guy broke out. Didn't get in the left. Good 
Good job. They're not enforcing the 1974 and older rules that were posted. It's supposed to be only 74 model and older. Yeah, and then that, uh, yeah, that and that, uh, the red V28. See you later, Mustang. An 11.4 ET 440 Magnum badged Challenger that's probably a 318 two barrel. Poser, come on, man. Put a motor in it, please. All right, old truck. It's time for the exhibition slingshot dragsters. <laughs> Here we go. I wonder if they're running 392 Hemis. I bet they are. They might run 426. They might be 392s. I know where a 392 is. I can buy it. Waiting for them to find the main caps. It's all taken apart. It's a 58 Chrysler 392 Hemi. Have to edit this down. This is taking a minute. Five thirty at one thirty nine. Not bad. Got a little gas or Chevy too. But it's called Evening Orchid. Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Now, in 65, there's a color called Iris Mist, and it's a metallic color. Yeah. It's an Iris Mist you can get in a Pontiac only one year. It's like a, it's like a silvery purple metallic. Really pretty. left on the other guy's light apparently all right I used to have one of those all right yeah I talked to the El Camino guy earlier yeah it's a 360 degree camera I was talking to him it does a uh, front and rear 180 degree or it's got whatever it's a full it's like the Google map guy.
Even the left is turned on her. Duster! Texas Muscle Car Club Challenge. Veteran racer wins. Will the Henry J fall away to the Camaro? I don't know, let's find out. My battery's low and we're not going to have much more video. Thanks for watching in case it cuts off. Here at Little River. Camaro. Got a 70 Olds Cutlass with some 442 stuff on it and a nice rusty Patina 55 Chevy. 740 on the Oldsmobile, 730 on the 55 Chevy. Let's see what happens. Not really sure who I'm rooting for. <laughs> I've got Warlock Dodge Ram and the uh, 72 El Camino SS. At least the SS Grill. I don't know. Probably not a real SS. I had a 72 Big Block 402 El Camino Custom that I bought from my pastor that married us 30 years ago. And then I messed it up. Lieutenant Pitt, the concession stand will be closing in 30 minutes. The concession stand will be closing in 30 minutes. See you later, Dodge. The Flathead Roaster wins. That's a pretty cool truck. Kind of a girl color, but it is cool. Different wheels. I love your car. Good running and also runs like Lawrence's truck. That's a proper long bed. Also runs good mid eights. Good truck. Not faster than Lawrence Park's truck. Lawrence Park's truck can run with that Impala. That Impala can't run with that Catalina. Short bed. Short bed versus long bed. 68 to verse 72 ish. Or 67 and a 71, or 68 and 71, or 67 and a 72, whatever, like that. They both got very close dial lines, 8486. Nice truck, so.
Of course, the long bed is superior because it's a do-all truck, eight foot plywood fit in the back. Close the tailgate. Yeah, long bed, baby. Chevy 6.3 Impala. Seven the car is pretty cool looking. I saw one at the swap meet last weekend at Waco for so. Alright, good job. Excellent. Good job. No noise was made by that car. It's the Nova Superior Automobile. Mustang, nice Mustang. I don't remember seeing that earlier. to the house finish drags was really cool a lot of cool stuff this thing's really cool looks like he's out of abita springs louisiana thanks for watching y'all we're gonna go to the house gotta go to church tomorrow make sure y'all get up and go to church <laughs>